Why shouldn't you share your interests with a narcissist? You shouldn't share your interests with a narcissist because like anything else, they will use your interests against you. The more that you share your interests with a narcissist, the more ammunition you are given them to use against you. Do not share your dreams or goals with a narcissist. They will do whatever they can to sabotage those dreams and goals. They are very envious and jealous people, even of things that you haven't even achieved yet. Just the thought that you are working towards these dreams or goals is enough to drive them to sabotage whatever it is you are trying to create. They will also try to create the, the illusion that they have already achieved the very dreams or goals that you are trying to achieve. Even if they haven't achieved anything, they will try to make you believe that they have. They are trying to project their envy and jealousy onto you. They don't know how to deal with these emotions. It's too painful for them. They prefer to project these emotions onto you so that you can express those emotions for them. Do not share your hobbies with a narcissist. Whether you have an interest in art, sports, psychology, whatever it is, do not share it with a narcissist. They will only use this opportunity to devalue you and make you believe that you, you are not good at whatever it is you are doing. They will also tell you that you are spending too much time on this hobby. You are selfish and you need to make more time for them. They will always, always have something negative to say about whatever it is you are doing. Do not introduce the narcissist to your friends or relationship partners. Remember, narcissists are very envious and jealous people. They will focus on separating you from your friends or relationship partners. They will spread rumors. They will talk about you to them behind your back. Or they might talk about them to you and make you believe that they have said or done something that might hurt you. The narcissist is jealous of the time you spend with your friends or relationship partners and wants to, to destroy this. Do not share your favourite movie with a narcissist. In more extreme situations, narcissists can even become envious and jealous of your favourite movie or television characters. They might try to stop you from watching a certain movie or television show because they feel that it is taking you away from them. Or they believe that you like the movie or television character more than you like them. They can also develop an, an obsession with this character and try to copy their looks and personality. Narcissists are very obsessive people. They will copy anything and everything that you are interested in. Because they want you to be interested in them. They want you to notice them. And they will expect you to believe that they look like your favourite movie or te television character. They will bail on their false character and personality and then pick up on whatever it is that you are interested in. Because appealing to your ideals is very important and sig significant to them. Many of them were neglected as children. They were never emotionally attended to. So now they are willing to do whatever it takes. They will be whatever you want 
and they will expect you to believe it. Just to give them a sense of attention, validation, power and control. Do not share your favourite songs with a narcissist. Like with the movie and television characters, the narcissist can be envious and jealous of your favourite singer. They might want you to stop listening to their music. They might copy their looks and personality in an attempt to appeal to your own ideals. Another thing with both movies and music is that the narcissist has difficulty with interpretation. Whatever movie you, you are watching or song you are listening to, they will twist and distort the interpretation of it until it relates to you in a negative way. They will use their distorted interpretation of the movie or song to emotionally abuse and manipulate you. It really makes no logical or rational sense. But they will expect you to accept and believe whatever crazy distorted interpretation they have created. It makes sense to them, so it should make sense to you. Of course their crazy distorted interpretations will not relate to whatever the writer of the movie or song had intended. But the narcissist doesn't care about the true interpretation. It has no value to them. What does have value to the narcissist is whatever they can use to get something out of you. Whether it's narcissistic supply, money, sex, material things or anything else. They will twist and distort the interpretations of movies and songs to get whatever it is they want from you. They will use their twisted and distorted interpretations to emotionally abuse and manipulate you. They will also do this to turn you against your favourite movie character or singer. If you really like someone or something they will want to turn it against you. They will want to make you hate it. Because narcissists hate love. They hate anything that makes you happy, satisfied or fulfilled. Because they cannot get the same fulfillment. Which is why they have to resort to twisting and distorting the interpretations of it. Really they should just leave it alone because it wasn't meant for their consumption in the first place. They also hate anything you give your time and attention to which doesn't include them. They want all of your time and attention to be on them. So if you are spending your time and attention on your dreams and goals, hobbies, movies or music. They are going to be very envious and jealous because of the time and attention you are spending on it rather than them. And the happiness, satisfaction and fulfillment you are receiving from working towards your dreams and goals, enjoying your hobbies, watching a movie or listening to music. So please do not share any of this with the narcissist. It will only make them more hateful, angry, envious and jealous. It will only make them more obsessed with you and more motivated to emotionally abuse and manipulate you. Which will leave you drained of your life and energy and no longer enjoying your interests. If you share your interests with a narcissist, you will feel drained around them because they are constantly trying to get you to adopt their distorted, twisted illusions and beliefs. 
They want you to see your dreams and goals, hobbies, mu movies or music in a distorted, twisted and negative way. A way in which you are flawed and not good enough for anyone or anything or no one is good enough for you because they are all flawed. But then they will always flip it around again to make you believe that you are not good enough for them. This is all triggered by their hate, anger, envy and jealousy, their insecurities and inferiority complex, their self-hate, their lack of happiness, satisfaction and fulfilment. They don't want anyone or anything else to be influencing you other than them. They want to isolate you from anyone or anything that doesn't go along with whatever narrative it is that they are trying to display to you. They want to di dictate your thoughts, feelings, interpretations and beliefs to you. They want to tell you what to think and what to feel. They want to teach you how to interpret your interests in the twisted, distorted way that they interpret them. They might go along with it in the beginning. They will pretend as though they are on the same frequency. They will act as though they are interested in your dreams and goals, hobbies, movies or music. But this is only so they can learn more about it and then figure out how they are going to rewrite the interpretation of it to be whatever they want it to be so that they can use it to negatively affect you to emotionally abuse and manipulate you or get whatever it is they want from you most often it is narcissistic supply they need the attention validation power and control The narcissist ideal life for you is where you have no dreams or goals. You have no hobbies. You do not have any interest in whatever movie or music you are interested in. You do not talk to or associate yourself with anyone. You do not have any friendships or relationships. So they will do whatever they can to turn you against it or turn it against you but whatever distorted twisted interpretation or belief they are trying to display to you do not believe in it do not give their interpretation illusion or belief any power because without your belief without your attention and validation it really has no power that's why they are so desperately and obsessively trying to get you to believe in it. It's like all of their interpretations, illusions and beliefs are designed to negatively affect you. It clearly demonstrates how, how hateful, angry, envious and jealous they really are. Anything they touch turns to dust negativity anything we touch turns to gold positivity narcissists are very pessimistic people while we are more optimistic these people cannot make anything work in life for themselves and they cannot make anything work for you their influence is always going to ruin you because they are toxic and their touch just destroys anything good in your life. You are always going to feel anxious, confused and depressed around them. And really it will be strange if you didn't feel that way. With all of their distorted and twisted interpretations, it's only natural that you are going to feel confused. 
it doesn't resonate with you but they are trying to make you believe that it does so of course there is going to be some confusion there please continue to work towards your dreams and goals continue to enjoy your hobbies friendships and relationships enjoy your movies and your favorite songs do not let the narcissist turn you against them or turn them against you remember these people are just jealous and envious that's why they have to do all of this that's what driving them to do this so do not let them affect your happiness satisfaction or fulfillment with any of your interests continue to enjoy them and do not share your interests with the narcissist thank you <laughs>